Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and we are going to be checking out everything new and changed in the seventh developer beta of iOS 14. Okay everyone, here we are, my iPhone 11 Pro Max with our iOS 14 developer beta 7. In my case, having to be about 417 megs, but depending on what you're coming from and what phone you're on, that size is going to vary. Now we are definitely in the end game coming up on our final betas before this is inevitably released in September or October, depending on when Apple plans to release it alongside the new devices. So not a huge amount of things have changed in these last uh, few betas, but we still have a few things to talk about today. Starting off with App Library. So if we all the way go to the right, you have my App Library here. It looks great, but it has been changed here in this most recent beta. We have a few things renamed as far as these categories go. Um, so for instance, productivity is now productivity and finance, I believe. Uh, if we scroll down, we have a few new categories. Um, reference and reading is now information and reading. That has changed. Um, you can see we have shopping and food is a new category here. Uh, health and fitness are the same, other is still the same. Uh, we have a new one for travel, so that's new. So a few changes to these categories, a little bit more broad, makes it a little bit easier to look through and look for the apps that you're trying to find. Other changes, if we jump into settings here, and we go down to wallpaper. So wallpapers, we have new wallpapers under stills. If we go down, all of these guys are more or less new. So we had all these wallpapers before, but they were not the dark mode, light mode. They were just kind of like that light mode option. Honestly, I'm a fan of these. These look very nice, so very sleek there. And of course they go with dark mode and light mode. So I think I had that toggle in here. Yep, right there. Turn on dark mode. Boom, you can see now it adjusts the dark interface. So these new wallpapers work in dark mode and light mode look very sleek there. So some new wallpaper options under stills. Uh, we don't have any additional live wallpapers or dynamic wallpapers. Those are still the same ones hanging around. Still, there are a few things that we are missing this late in the beta stage. We still don't have uh, 4K support for YouTube yet in the browser. That is supposedly coming, and we've seen that in Safari on the Mac. We are also still missing some widgets that we are hoping would be there, such as one for HomeKit uh, and other first-party apps. Apple also announced that they are going to be delaying their tracking, possibly coming in 14.1. These new user privacy tracking blocking stuff that Apple was putting out there, those have been delayed a little bit, kind of like the nutrition information that you'll see in the App Store. Those have just been delayed till the end of this year, so they likely won't be launching here with the initial build of iOS 14 that are going to be public released, but they will be there very soon. Other than that, please let me know down below in the comments what you have found in the latest betas of iOS 14. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and if you find any other changes, and reach out to me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU to make sure you get a response. Other than that, check us in the next video.